Your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Over the coming days, our weather is going to get a lot more active, but it's going to be more typical of summertime storm complexes, and that's the key to it. We're going to get these big clusters of storms that move through, uh, and again, they're going to move through different areas of the Tennessee Valley all the way through Monday. Each one gets progressively stronger. I think the worst of the weather is probably going to be late Sunday. We'll have more on that coming up, but right now we're just tracking some light to moderate showers. There's nothing severe here, but just want to give you an update. Let you know this is all going to pass just to the south of the viewing area, but there may be a few spotty showers when you wake up tomorrow morning. This is all part of a broader system that's slowly beginning to break down and move in our direction. Thunderstorms, but really not much severe weather here in northern Louisiana. This is going to reinforce the cloud cover. That's one thing we noticed today is more clouds and the clouds will continue to build and be around. And even with the clouds, we're going to stay in the 80s, although it's not going to be as hot or as uncomfortable outdoors as it has been the last few days. So tomorrow morning, the model guidance, latest model guidance has a few thunderstorms out there too, so I wouldn't be surprised with that. But we won't see severe weather tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, a few strong storms possible, but that's just kind of uh, the season, right? As far as your forecast hour by hour, we're going to go all the way into Saturday here. So try to keep up, right? We're going to go through this hour by hour, and what you're going to notice is periods of heavier rainfall. So tomorrow morning, a few showers and storms at 7 o'clock in the morning. We're around 71 degrees to start the day. By 10 a.m., just a few isolated showers, a thunderstorm or two. But one thing I've noticed, the latest forecast guidance has more rain than what I showed you earlier today. And as we get to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you notice there's a well-defined boundary here that's going to be shifting to the east. So by the evening hours, if you have graduation plans Thursday evening, I think you're going to be dry, maybe going out to Toyota Field. Any outdoor plans in the evening should be dry, and then we wait on the next boundary, and this is the one that's been the most consistent. A Friday morning area, showers and storms, and then a late Friday afternoon, Friday evening boundary of storms, and this is what I mean by complexes of storms. This one here, early Friday morning, will be inconvenient for the morning commute, and then we're starting to see this boundary coming in right behind it too, which will produce heavy rain, lightning and strong gusty winds. But notice this one here. This is five o'clock Friday, very heavy rain in purple, strong gusty winds. Wouldn't be surprised with some isolated wind damage here Friday evening, and then that goes away. And then another boundary comes in and kind of falls apart Saturday morning. Here's your weekend forecast, scattered showers and storms Saturday and then again Sunday. Rain chances are going to be up and down. I think we're going to get these complex Complexes move through and then we're going to get about a six to eight hour window behind that before more showers and thunderstorms uh, move on through. So again, the, the worst of the weather right now looks to be Friday's complex, probably Friday evening. And then again, as we get into Sunday evening with those strong and potentially severe thunderstorms, wouldn't be surprised with a couple of severe thunderstorm watches Friday and Sunday. Uh, today, that severe thunderstorm watch was north and we were pretty confident we wouldn't see much around here. Hello.